I started thinking about this contract again, wondering if maybe I could use the same basic method, but improve my time a little bit. Um, basically make the route more efficient. Uh, so, I'm using the same gimmick phones, but this time I'm going to start from the barbecue party instead of Batty's Backyard. See, it occurred to me, uh, if I'm starting in Batty's Backyard, I'm having to spend time running across the street to the Wilson's house, which is time spent running away from where the exits are. And I have to retrace that at the end of the mission. So I might be able to cut some time down if I start from here. So it is, it is really just the same method. I'm putting the phone at his feet, the electrocution phone. Uh, and then heading into the house. In a normal run, this would be where I'm going out the gate on the left side of the house, but I'm having to uh, go here and set the second phone. But this works just the same. Throw the phone up to the top of the stairs, and then bump into the doorway, ring the bell. I bump into doorways like that in real life, too, so it's uh, pretty realistic. So now I'm going to run across to Batty's backyard. I'm just going to hop over the fence. So what I'm wanting to do is um, 23 seconds from the time I hit the doorbell, I'm going to trigger the explosive phone to start ringing. Uh, which will be right as I'm about to jump into Batty's window here. So I can run up and subdue him real quick. So the explosive phone is ringing right now. She's on her way up to get that. So I'm changing into the disguise. And then I'm going to switch to the electrocution phone detonator and call that now that I'm wearing Batty's disguise. The electrocution phone has a much shorter cycle time. So I'm just going to run here to the bridge exit and uh, duck into the foliage. Okay, so the uh, two kills come pretty quick here. Um, so I actually called the uh, explosive phone a little too fast on this. I did a few runs of this and... I probably would want to have the explosive phone time be about 25 seconds from when I ring the bell to when I hit the detonator. But I got 118, Silent Assassin, and number 7 on the leaderboard, so that is a little bit better than I did before. Uh, but yeah, I was doing several runs of this, and with the 22 to 23 second uh, duration on the explosive phone, the body was getting found... Uh, a little bit more often than it wasn't, so 24 to 25 seconds is probably your best bet for uh, getting a good time and reducing risk of her body being found before you can exit the mission. Uh, so you're going over to the leaderboards here. The best time on this, I think, well, yeah, it's under a minute, uh, 20 seconds faster than where I'm at right now, and I have no idea how to optimize to get to that that speed. I think I'd be hard-pressed to shave more than two or three seconds off what I've done. So I'm interested here in um, the difference in technique between uh, number five and number six. There's a, like, seven-second jump between them. So that's got to be where the strategy delineates a little bit here. I, I would really like to see what they're doing uh, at number five and above to get those times and still be Silent Assassin. But this is the best I can do for now, so I'm pretty satisfied with that. If you enjoyed this, please leave a thumbs up or give me a comment. Or is it give a thumbs up and leave a comment? Well, either way, thanks for watching.